The House calls upon the Deputy Prime Minister, Mr. Ken Mardena, to deliver his speech here. here. Good evening to all members of the Paladin. Good evening to um, I would just like to refute a few points of what Mayim I said. First, it won't lower down the educational attainment of each student if there are no labels between the honor second gen check because since we already have, like what she said, that we already have the same teachers, the same teachings, therefore having the equal education with one another. So there is no lowering down between the honor second between the gen check. And next point, um, like what you said, with this honor, honor sec that we have, it makes the gen sec more determined to go to the honor sec. I'm not saying that all gen secs, I cannot say this, but for me, most gen secs, they know that it, it is hard to go to the honor sec. And therefore, since they know that it's hard being in the, in the honor section, therefore they are discouraged to go to the honor sec, honor sections. I sometimes hear from my friends that even if they're from gen sec, they, we share, each experience from one another. I hear from the Gen Sex that, that they, they say that I'm in the honor sec that they, they do this, they do very hard things, therefore I do not want to go to the honor sec because I know that being in the honor sec is very hard. And sometimes I hear from the honor students from the honor sections that I'm already tired, there are so many projects to do in this honor section, therefore I want to go already to the Gen Sex. Therefore, if we have these labelings and these boundaries that we have, therefore it discourages each student to go to it to, to the honor set or go to the gen set. And now I will go to my point on what our prime mini, prime mini, prime prime minister said. My first two point, and my only two points that with this no, with no, if we abolish the honor sex, the honor set, the honors classes, we can establish more unity within the batch. And my second point, with this, with this unity, we, we would be open to share more knowledge with one, one another and open to ask more knowledge. If there are no more labels, labels in this school, there are no more honor sex, no more boundaries, the unity would be tighter. And that is one major advantage for us. The, the bats would be more united and since they are united, they are more open to one another. If there are no more labels between the honor sec and the gen sec, they would maybe see each one of us as, as an equal student. Therefore, they're open to go to ask to them, ask for help, and open to share to one another. I'm not saying that with this boundary boundary between the gen sec and the honor sec that there is no unity that, that is happening. But if we take off these labels and these boundaries that we have now in the present status. The unity would be stronger and tighter because they know that there are no labels and there are, more, there are no more boundaries. Therefore, we have there is an equality that is happening. Basing on our legislation, just like the college college style, just imagine imagine the cheering competition with just a short time time span of maybe one and a half month. The batch became more open to one another and they built relationships with one another. As my experience from first year to third year with cheering, I, I saw that my batch became united because as we look at during the cheering competition, we didn't look at one another as junior, I, as honor sec or as a gen sec. We look to one another, another as a batch mate, as a, as a friend and as a student and as a classmate. And what if from one and a half month, we, ch we change it to one school year. Just imagine what a uni united batch could do, what a united section could do. Um, with, this, with this unity that we have, the goals and the dreams would be better because each one of us would not think as an honor sec and as a gen sec, we would think that each one of us would help one another, another in, building, in building our future because we, we gain the same knowledge, we gain equality. And now to expand my second point, as relation to my first part, with unity, we are open to share more knowledge with one another. The students of the honor sec would be more open to share their knowledge towards the gen sec, and the gen sec would be also open to share their knowledge to the honor sec. Okay. Because they know that there are no more labels that we are equal students in this certain school. And as by experience in the honor section, I help my fellow classmates, for example, maybe in math or in English, because sometimes not all of my classmates know this, but and they also help me, especially in Filipino, because I do not know Filipino. We share we share knowledge because in, in the honor sec we are united. And since we are united, we are open to one another into sharing our own knowledge with one another. What if there are no boundaries? We think that there is no honor sec and there is no gen sec. 
Not all knowledge can be found in the honor sect and not all knowledge can be found in the gen sect. What if we mash up this all together? What could we do? We would have we have, we would have more stock knowledge and more and more wisdom with what with one another. Like maybe like um like if we with no boundaries that we mash up the honor sect and the gen sect that we would abolish this. The the perspectives and the the perspectives of the gen sec towards the honor sec and the perspectives between the honor sec to the, towards the gen sec would change because since they are united the, the maybe they have realized that the honor sec is not like this and maybe the gen sec is not like this because with this unity that we have the rela realizations the, the perspectives would change i'm not saying their looks to one another are wrong but sometimes we think that maybe the gen sec are like this and the other sec are, and are like, they, like this. But if we are open to one another and if we are open to, into sharing our own knowledge, maybe our thoughts of one another would change. Not change for the worse, but change for the better. And, maybe, and also, they would have better learnings and stuff that is therefore making this a good move to do. And that's all. Thank you. Here, here. Speakers go for 5 minutes and 59 seconds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. This house calls upon the deputy leader of the opposition, Ms. Paula Movero, here, here. Can I uh, invite both sides? Uh, don't remember, I don't remember. Don't forget your uh, points of information. Yeah. Okay, good evening everyone. I am the DLO of the opposition side. As what Ken Mardana said, um, abolishing the honors class would, would, um, would create unity within the batch. The batch can still be united and you don't, you don't have to acknowledge the sections or the, the boundaries of these, of these, um, of these honors class and gen sets. And also, you don't have to you don't have to acknowledge these boundaries to make friends with them. You can you can create friends with the with the gen set and also with the honors set. And you can also share your knowledge with them. And these won't level down the gen sets to the honor sections. Well, within the cheering competition, as you can see. Unity has been created within this competition, and then during the practices, um, these enabled all the students to cooperate within the within within themselves, and also to not to make um to make these to make this unity as as strong as possible, which made the which made for example the seniors a champion because they united with the with the gen sex and with the honor sections. And this college system of theirs would not be helpful for for these students, especially the high school students, to attain more knowledge because there is a possibility that these influences would only bring the students down rather rather than up. As I've noticed, those students who who have completely gone through these processes, like from the from the others honor sections to the general sections. Um, some of these students have become more more of a bully rather than of a honors honor student. And and lastly, um, you don't have you don't have to bring down these students in order for them to to acknowledge that that they are they that they really belong in the general section it is because that that these boundaries consider as like 
as like the titles of which the students are what the students are and also these boundaries create a competitive atmosphere that the students can create within themselves and of course the general section the general um, the students from the general section can also compete with them with themselves in order to attain their goal and to reach the honor section and also the the advantage of the of of, of not abolish, abolishing the honor section is that you can select you can select contestants in in in, in intersection in, in inter school competitions for example like Isa she won the, she won first place in here in that competition and also and also for others who won that who won that contest and since the majority in this room um, comprises of the students from the from the honor section, would you like to would you like the honor section to be abolished and like to completely to completely erase the relationship relationship of what you have grown from first year to fourth year of your recent classmates? Thank you. Speakers <laughs> will for four minutes and three seconds. <laughs>